Hello guys, I'm showing this video how to import and use substances in 3ds Max. Firstly, open the material editor and from here models, open the slate material editor. Search here substance and drag and drop this one substance too this node to the view then double click on the node in order to open the properties of the material and load substance choose the desired subsar and press open you can download subsar materials from substance dot uh, substance 3d uh, the, Dot Adobe. You can find a link in the description. And there are two options further on. You can go here above in the menu and choose the Substance menu. How you can get this? By downloading Substance for 3ds Max from this website, Substance 3D Adobe. You can find a link in the description and you can choose here your version of 3ds Max. You can download it, install it, and you're going to have the Substance menu here above. So you need to choose this node, go here and choose your render engine. Substance support, supports all of these engines. I will choose V-Ray. Firstly, I need to select V-Ray as my primary render engine. You can press F10 and then here go to V-Ray. Okay, and then let's select the material from the slate material editor. Go to Substance and choose V-Ray. This will automatically second I'll move it here this will automatically create V-Ray material using the information from the substance it wires the normal from the substance through V-Ray normal map it puts it uh, on this slot on the normal one on the normal map and then it's wired with the bump um, glossiness from roughness and it's connected to the reflection glossiness and height goes to the displacement the thing that is missing is the diffuse map and we can wire the base color with the diffuse map and then let's see what happens if I create here a box and if I wire here this node to the box it's white then we need to go, go here and press this button and now again and there we go we have our wooden material applied to the box now I can start playing with the substance if I go here, I can change everything in order to achieve the desired uh, output result. If we have uh, different graphs here, we can choose them. I can change the substance preset, load or and export. If I have some, I can change the output, the size of the maps I can reduce or increase let's say the amount of the branches here in this menu I can make it cleaner bigger smaller and everyone it's super intuitive you can play with every single uh, material you can also change the color or the contrast. You can do it from here, the substance, or of course, I'll expand this 
of course you can just add a color correction here from the maps general color correction so wire it double click here you can change the hue saturation and the material is changed dynamically too I'll bring it back by connecting these slots and remove it remove the color correction so here basically in the substance itself without adding any additional maps you can play around with all of these amounts I'll show you one of the critical options which is the size of the res um, of the resolution let's say we we'll see here these artifacts these tiny dots we can fix this by increasing the resolution without going just by switching here let's say to 4k and should um, refresh automatically if you don't see the changes you need to go here press this plus configure viewports or shortcut is alt and b go to display performances and here under texture map press up to 4k press ok and now we saw that this refreshed and these artifacts are gone i'll show it again to see the difference if we have here are 500 pixels apply we have it 4k everything is clean so here by changing the resolution from this menu we have a higher quality more pixels without going into different software software like photoshop to increase the size of our textures this saves a lot of time and of course brings the quality of the final image another option one of the my favorite one here with the substance materials is the random seed by dragging this node i'll zoom out a bit you can create different materials walls let's say in this case uh for in seconds and if you want to make wooden planks or uh, different type of materials for chair table whatever you need it for you can make it in seconds pushed by this random seat and when you're satisfied with the result you can export the maps press bake outputs in the desired size um, i've created here a folder wood and go there but this is the default for folder where um, the program suggests you to save your images i'll select it in jpeg format you can choose between these press ok and if you wonder where this folder is actually the easiest way i find found this folder is just, i'll press this again go back and just send a shortcut send yes shortcut to my desktop and then i'll just go to my desktop and find it i think it's this one and here i can see my maps exported base height normal and the roughness these are these maps ready to go to use or if you need anything to change further on and if you like to reset and have this material back to the default one just press reset with that being said i would like to show you one more material i'll drag and drop the substance to node over here double click load substance i'll choose this one open and i'll expand the slate material editor and i will show you that this is this substance is with more information let's say if i double click it sorry I press substance choose the render engine that you're using expand it 
and if I click at you you can see that there is more difficult or complex let's say material here created automatically the, all of this depend this information depends on what the substance contains the other option of cre creating material more simplified simpler than this one from this substance is you can go and copy it by shift and drag with the left mouse button then here type puree material drag and drop and connect the diffuse map with the diffuse map super simple the normal through maps vra normal map like this here to the normal map and here to the bump map and we have it ready to use so because sometimes if you have some distant camera you need something simpler and you don't need this huge information if you have close camera it's better to have everything so this was it substance for 3ds max using v-ray if you have any comments or suggestions please let us know in the comments below if you enjoyed anything in the video then drop a like and a big thank you to everyone who does if you haven't subscribed yet click below and join us we have some great videos coming up that you don't want to miss thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video Bye for now.